welcome back to my channel C. Taylor Marie. If you haven't already, go ahead and please subscribe to my channel and make sure you share and it so other people can subscribe too. I am so sorry, you guys. I know I said I would post this yesterday, but I, your girl was just not feeling good, so I could not get it done. But I got up and I got it done today, so go ahead and watch. Okay, so today is going to be all about this Superman hair. I am calling it Superman hair because it looks like Superman ice cream. So go ahead and watch how I achieve this look. I will be using the Kiss colors to create this look. I do have a preference on what dyes I use for what color method, meaning I do have certain ones that I use for the water method, and I do have certain dyes that I use for when I am applying it with a brush, and I'll go ahead and post that review later on. So please make sure you go ahead and subscribe if you're interested in the different dyes I use and why I use those dyes. Getting into the hair itself, it is Peruvian Straight Hair by Sexy Hair. This is my first time using Sexy Hair, and of course, because the name is Sexy. And also, the hair just came out beautifully, and it worked well. I definitely be purchase, purchasing from them again. I am going to be working with two 16-inch frontals and one, sorry, two 16-inch bundles, one 14-inch bundle, and then a 14-inch frontal. That did come pre-plucked, but you know me. I also like to go in there and do a little plucking myself. I will go ahead and add the links to the hair and how you can purchase it and I will put down below any other products that I use and the links to where you can get it. Let's go ahead and get into this beautiful color. Starting off, I honestly did not know what I was going to do. I just know I had to post another video and I was looking at Laraja Andre's video and she created this gorgeous blue and I was like, I have to try it. That blue is gorgeous. But I did not want to, of course, take her color that she used and take her style that she used. And I did not want to do an all blue wig because I'll be posting a blue bob later on. I didn't want to do two bobs, I mean two blue wigs back to back. So me and my best friend went to the hair store and just found some colors that went right with this blue. And we bought them, not knowing exactly what I was going to do. But I was like, these colors match, so let's go ahead. I'm ready to go home anyways, and let's get it done. So like I said, starting off, I went ahead and I wanted to use that blue so quick that I just went ahead and did the first two rows in blue just to see what it looked like. And I fell in love with it. But of course, like I said, because I didn't want to do all blue, I had to start mixing it up. So for some odd reason, I decided to go with this ombre looking thing. And let me tell you guys, when I started off, I was like, oh no, this does not look right. What did I do, Shy? You just ruined this. And I was just like, I have to switch it up. But I can't just like not finish the ombre out. So I did go ahead and I did that whole first row ombre, which was pink. I did the Hawaiian fire, the flaming orange, and then the yellow. And then my, I was like, oh, let's flip it upside down and do the yellow, the flaming, I mean, the flaming orange and the Hawaiian fire. Why did I think that would look different? I don't know. But as I was doing it, I was like, oh my gosh, Cheyenne, you just made this look even worse than what you started off with. So I did just ended up going with the solid colors. And no more ombre. I sketched. I got rid of all the ombre, and like I said, I just started doing solid colors. So I did go ahead, and the next two rows I did in this solid yellow that I am absolutely love. All right, sorry about that, you guys. I had a phone call, but um, like I said, I just went ahead and I reverted back to just doing solid colors. So I went ahead and did two rows of this yellow. Just a quick side note: I am loving and living for this yellow, so I definitely will be slaying a yellow wig shortly. So make sure you go ahead and subscribe, share, and like, so everyone else can come watch as I slay this gorgeous yellow wig. Alright, so when applying your hair, you guys, you guys can see that I apply some and then I take my fingers and I just kind of smooth it in. I just do this to make sure that the hair, the color goes evenly through the hair and we don't have any spots of blonde or anything left over. You don't just want to apply it and not comb it or smooth it through. Make sure you always go in there and smooth it out the best you can. Um, the process of dyeing the hair like this, I want to say it took me about two hours. I did obviously trim the video so much. But um, yeah, I definitely want to make sure you take your time when you're doing this process. So after you're adding the two rows of yellow, I'm going to go ahead and just finish it up with this blue, making it more of a peekaboo method rather than um, color all over it. Um, after finishing the wig, I definitely would say I really wish I would have went in and added more of the Hawaiian fire and the flaming orange to it just because, like I said, it definitely came out better than what I thought it was going to look. So I'm kind of mad that I just went straight back to the yellow and um, yellow and blue. But in the end, it all came out really, really cute. So I am loving it. So yeah, just finishing up this, the back of this hair with the blue, making it a peekaboo look. And then we are going to go ahead and get into that frontal business. When working on a frontal on any kind, of course, you want to make sure you take your time. Be careful so you don't ruin that lace and ruin that frontal in general. When doing the brush method, you also want to make sure that you are using a nice, firm, and hard applicator brush. I will go ahead and put the link down below to the one I am using right here in this video. Um, this brush has helped me keep the dye 
on the brush and on the hair and it does not like you see it's not flipsy and floppy and it's not going everywhere so my dye is not spreading out or getting any spills or anything like that i also go ahead and take a small rat tooth comb rat tail comb i don't know why we want to keep saying rat tooth but a rat tail comb and i just comb through smoothing that gel out and making sure there is no extra um i don't know why i keep saying gel either just make sure there's no extra color hanging as you can see when i comb it it catches all that extra color and i can go ahead and expose a bit the proper way rather than making sure it does not leak onto my lace a couple things i want to mention you guys just to make sure that the your hair comes out amazing when you're doing it even though it is not seen in the video i promise you guys i changed my gloves like 20 times one because i have ocd and i do not like there being dye everywhere like it just gets to me i don't know how i love the dye hair but i don't like when it gets everywhere also side note please excuse my big oversized gloves i like i said i had to get this hair done so i just went ahead and found some gloves that i had they're oversizedly big but it did the trick so please excuse that but another thing i want to mention you guys is you can see i have saram wrap the heck out of my mannequin head i do this just so that when I put one layer down, it does not blend in with the next. For example, when I'm doing my frontal, I did blue, yellow, blue, and I saran wrapped the blue before I did the yellow so that when the yellow got done, it did not bleed onto the blue and create a green look in my yellow. That would just piss me off. So make sure you go ahead and saran wrap it, use foil, whatever you want to do just to keep those colors from mixing. Make sure you use the proper, just make sure you use proper, um, all proper things to make sure your colors do not bleed together because you do not want your colors bleeding together and creating a different color than you originally wanted. Okay, so all said and done, I went ahead and obviously I continue applying the dye. I did let that hair, that dye sit overnight just to make sure that that color really did stick to that hair and that there was no, it didn't bleed as much. And I will say after rinsing it out with the Kiss Colors, it did not bleed at all. I think the only color that bled a little bit was the yellow which I did have a lot of yellow on there. I did cake it on the first two rows that I did to make sure it really did stick so I understand why it bled a lot. But yeah, I went ahead and rinsed it out. And like I said, you can see the color did not bleed. It is no blonde. It is completely colored how I went ahead and applied it to it. And I'm not gonna lie, you guys, I love to let my hair air dry. Like I always say in all my videos, this hair air dried for maybe a week. Because like I said, when I was doing it, I wasn't feeling it. I was like, this is not going to be cute. And then I started going ahead and actually blow drying it, rinsing it. And I was like, okay, it's looking like ice cream. I get that idea. But I still don't think it's going to look cute on me. So it sat in my room with my mannequin head for like a week. But everybody kept coming in and mentioning how cute it was. They kept saying, oh, that's cute. My sister wanted to wear it. And I was like, oh, maybe it's not as bad as I think. Let me go ahead and slay and apply this wig. So that's what I did. So I went ahead and I got to it and I'm just like I said, I am blow drying it out after letting it air dry for like a week. And this is just kind of the color I got. I do go ahead and do two yellow strips on the side. And then I did flat iron it off camera. This is basically what it's looking when it's flat ironed, just letting you guys see the colors and how it goes. I do like how the colors are all blending and I really started loving it at this moment. The only thing is that the hair itself in a flat iron style I did not like so I went ahead and added some curls I did go ahead and curl the other side already and on that side that's basically where I took my testing and I tested flat iron curls curl iron curls and wand curls clearly I like the wand curls and I went with that as you can see so I'm just going to go ahead and I am going to put some wand curls in there I do spray my hair with my olive oil heat protector which I just love 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 makes my hair silky smooth and it gives me that flowy that I love in my hair who wants stiff hair not me always likes when your hair flows all right you guys so like I said this is something that is definitely bold for me starting a whole YouTube channel is definitely bold for me I am I love bright colors I like being noticed and out there but I am not like the outspoken person so I want to be noticed in like the most quietest way um, hint the fact that I have not talked on camera yet you guys but I have got all my accessories um, my microphone and everything to start talking on camera it's probably going to be awkward the first half of it you guys but um, bear with me I'm going to get more comfortable as it goes on do not judge my weirdness but yeah my next video I definitely will be talking in front of the camera so be ready for that go ahead and subscribe to see 
all right so all curled up this is how it's looking with the curls i'm really liking that color like i said i really wish i would have went back and put more orange and pink maybe in the front just to give it more dimension but overall i am loving the color like you guys know i like to go ahead and try everything on before i start gluing it and stuff like that <laughs> um so like i said with the hair starting off as a 613 the lace was kind of bright almost like white so i am going to go ahead and try to darken that up to make it blend better as you can see you can see all that whiteness in there and you can see the lace just is not blending directly to my head so i do have different methods on how i darken my lace up in this one i'm just going to go ahead and take my foundation and i'm just going to apply it to the lace I do have um, the Revlon foundation, which is close to my color. I'm not a foundation person, you guys, so finding foundation colors for me is like so difficult. But yeah, this is the color I got. I went ahead and put it on the lace, which darkened it up a little bit, as you can see. That front of it is not showing as much white, and it is starting to blend in a little better to my head. But I said, like I said, I do have different methods on how I darken my lace up and make my lace blend into my head. And I definitely will be showing the go those different ways, so go ahead and make sure you subscribe to my channel if you want to see me darken my lace other than with foundation. I did go ahead and apply my hair off camera just because I already have a video below, and I'll go ahead and put the link below of how I do my um, fault cap method, so I went ahead and did the rest of it off camera. Alright you guys, I don't know if you guys noticed that the whole time I am doing my hair, I am just like constantly smiling and laughing. It's not because my best friend's in the background and she's making me laugh. It is because I honestly am just loving this color. I'm just like, yes, yes, this color is bomb on me. Well, <laughs> like I said, I did glue it off camera and I'm just going to go ahead and finish it up and make it look more natural. Alright you guys, I'm just cleaning it up to make it look, like I said, look more natural and everything like that. I have been into bright colors and always admired the different hair colors out there like my whole life I just never did it this is probably the boldest I have ever went and honestly you guys looking at the color and how much I love it I cannot wait to go bolder and you guys know I am so go ahead and please 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 subscribe to see all the ideas that I have and can't wait to show you guys I have like 30 videos lined up different hair colors different methods different tricks and everything just to show you guys and i can't wait to get it out there so go ahead subscribe share like and make sure you um tell everybody so they can go ahead and see too um i definitely in my next video like i said i will be talking more on camera and that's just going to be more of like watching me course slay my perp my blue bob but also just getting to know me um, I did go ahead and like I said I started this YouTube channel because I love hair I love everything about hair and I wanted to showcase all the boat colors I love to do and I like to just just show you case who I am because like I said when I go out in public I am like the shy one out of all seven of my siblings I'm the shy quiet one so people probably think I don't really do much so this probably was a shock for anybody who knows me but I love bold colors all right and then this is me just ending it up i promise i did not pick my nose you guys i scratched it but then this is me just finishing up i went ahead and tried to make that part look a little more natural but yeah this is the end you guys and i am just loving this this wig is getting me all types of life like i said this is the boldest i have ever been i cannot wait to show you guys how much bolder i can go i have like 30 ideas in my head i cannot wait to go ahead and post them all so go ahead like share comment make sure you go ahead and subscribe